You got desires, I know, I know. You got desires, I know, I know. Okay, good morning, everybody. It is April 29th, Monday, the new week, week five. I literally think I have strep throat. My throat is on fire, and it started last night. It just got worse. I don't know how or why or when, but it fucking sucks. I'm not so sure it's strep throat, but that's what my mom said, so I'm thinking she's right. I have no food in here. I need to go to the grocery store. I have two appointments today. Oh, Lord have mercy. I'm, I'm tired. These last two weeks have tore me up, but I've just been in the process of like getting things in order and figuring out like my next moves and stuff. I also did like thin out my eyebrows because I was just like, I feel like it's gonna make me look better and it has, so that was smart. I actually winded up cutting off my last friend last night and like I'd be really trying to keep my business off the internet, but also that's what y'all are here for. Like I can't be impartial. So like I struggle a lot with allowing certain people to slide with certain things and others not. And like, if I'm gonna stand on business, I gotta stand on business. You know what I'm saying? Disrespect is just, untolerated even if it's at the smallest decimal because it just it's a slippery slope and i when i was on the plane coming back from new orleans to dallas i was talking to this girl who was like she was going back to some man who was like putting his hands on her and not treating her well and i'm like i'm like and god put me in that position for a reason he, like for me and for her like he was definitely using me as a vessel to be like her last warning i guess because she has said that her one flight turned into three and her flight got delayed and it was a whole thing and like she was going back with him he just got out of jail all this and all that and i'm like girl you need to leave him alone like for real and she was like i'm just i don't want to talk to nobody i don't want to hear nothing because i don't want nobody telling me that i shouldn't be with him and i have been there millions and millions and millions of times like i get it. i understand exactly what she's talking about but also either in what I told her, like either you have to make the decision to do better or universe is going to make it for you. And she is not that nice. OK, as soon as she has to make the decision for you, it's going to be much worse than if you were to do it. And I think even for me, like because things can be beneficial and things can be good for you in the same way that they can be bad for you. Like you can have somebody who is a good person who still does something dirty to you or still does you wrong and you still allow that energy into your life and into your space and into your field. And so in that, you're putting yourself in a lesser situation, in a, in a worse situation. And so you have to be able to let those things go. And I think like, it's like spring cleaning, babe. Like a lot of people don't do enough cleaning. Clean your energy, clean your mental house, clean your your love house. You have to release that stuff because there's no way that you replaying a story from 10 years ago is going to help you in your new reality. Sorry, hate to break it to you. There's no way that reliving your traumas or reliving your hurts constantly is going to help you in your new reality, right? Like, you have to let it go. It's not you no more. You know what I'm saying? It was an experience that you experienced, but it is not you. And so I think that's just, I guess, something that has been coming up a lot. And like, y'all know I started off the vlogs like literally in tears because I had to end relationships and release things, release, release, release. And that's just all I've been doing so far. And like, it's for the best. And I wish like more people were comfortable with it. It's scary. Don't get me wrong. The first couple times you do it is like, oh my God, like, but you get used to it and you start to see how beautiful like and how fast your energy increases and you also start to see these new things that you're desiring come into play you know what i'm saying like as soon as you release the old in with the new because in like energy cannot be created nor destroyed you have to replace that energetic field you know what i'm saying so i hope that helps that's kind of like what i live my life by if you can understand your energy and you can understand how energy works and you can understand how attracting things works you can literally have anything that you want. Like, it's, it's that simple. And it's very, it's a simple concept. It's hard to believe. Does that make sense? But yeah. 
we're starting the vlog off deep. We're starting the vlog off with some serious stuff. But my appointment's at 12. I have like 40 minutes or something. I'm trying to like figure out what I need to get grocery-wise because I literally have no food in here. What my goals are for the new month. It's April 29th, so we'll see. But I really hope this week is beautiful for you. I hope your day is beautiful. And I thank you for following me along this journey. So I just got home. I don't have strep. I'm still reacting to eating crabs in Maryland. So it's safe to say that I officially have an allergic reaction to shellfish and like seafood and stuff. Now, on to the next thing. I ordered groceries and Patricia, I told Patricia to put my stuff right here inside my door. I left it. I told her, ring the doorbell when you're done. I can see you, right? Why she take my groceries? Make that make sense for me. She took my groceries. That is definitely frustrating as fuck. So I had to call Instacart, Instacart and get them to reorder my groceries. But it's mad annoying. Then I just got back from the urgent care to see if I had the strep though. And they talk about, no, it's just an allergic reaction. I'm just now eating for the first time. It's almost five o'clock. I really, me and food today, me and food related things is really not, it's not, it's not giving. So overall, zero out of 10, Patricia, Count your days. <sighs> yeah, that's it, that's all. Okay, bye. Guys, it's like 10 a.m. in the morning. I had to go to Walgreens super early to go pick up my medicine, uh, cause I went last night and then they were closed. Like the pharmacy, not the store. And that was absolutely like sending me because like it did not say that online. But also I never go to the pharmacy late at night. So now I know like you can't go past eight. But I'm currently watching um, the sequencing of vlog three. And I ordered like a couple things off Amazon because my hair is a mess. I want to get braids, but also I just, I'm really trying to like lock in financially this month. I think that's like my biggest goal, like save some money this month, like actually create a savings account and like put money in there and not touch it. And then like just get my finances in order and like just cut down on spending this month. Not because I need to, just to prove a point to myself and like instill discipline and routine. So I ordered like a couple things. I ordered like a cork board to put like little things on there. A wig, I ordered like some meal prep containers because I always meal prep, but I have like plastic containers and I really don't like those. And then I ordered a little a phone case because my phone case is broken down. So those things should be coming like later today. It is Tuesday. I talked to this guy, like my Lyft driver was super like super cool. Like we were talking about like entrepreneurship and just running businesses and things. And that was like definitely like a vibe. Um, It is the last day of April. Yay. April was a doozy, uh, especially with Mercury retrograde, not everything. Like I'm grateful to be walking into May, but I have to finish watching this, going through it, doing the checks, and then I have an appointment in a couple hours at like 12. And like I told y'all, like supposedly <clears throat> this whole throat thing is still an allergic reaction because I'm not sick or anything. I don't feel sick. My throat is still bothered and that's just from having a freaking allergic reaction. So I know I can't have seafood anymore. And that's so sad because I was raised that way. But yeah, also like, I'm feeling real like recluse. Like I'm feeling real like I just want to be to myself. I'm on my business. I want to like just kind of like be alone on some on a vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like I just kind of want to like my, my business stick to myself. And I feel like that's going to be the energy this month. Like just really like focusing on me and like focusing on the projects I got going on and like doing more like YouTube. Just things like that. Uh, I really want to be transparent and, and as helpful and like as much of a resource as possible for people who are trying to do similar things. So like that's kind of my goal at the moment. But I also think I want to do like a closet clean out, which I might probably just make a separate video for that. I have appointments all, all week and I may go get like my mom's car later possibly, but we shall see how things play out. Um, I just really want to focus on my like tattoos and getting prepared for this new month. Absolutely. But it's a beautiful Tuesday. I feel like good vibes. Much better than yesterday for sure. So I have high spirits. But yeah, today's breakfast was like eggs and stuff. Pretty simple. I'm going to try to stop eating waffles. Because I feel like that's just too much carbs, too much sugar. I'm leave it alone. But yeah, talk soon. Hey guys, I just got my filler appointment rescheduled. I got it back, done back like a while ago. And I had a vascular occlusion. I had to get it dissolved, and so I just rescheduled it for the 9th of May. I'm very excited. I'm finishing up watching this vlog, and then I will probably eat a little snack. 
and get my life together for this appointment. Life is good. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday. This week's energy has really been something different. Yesterday, I went to go get my mom's car and just came home. I did some laundry and I cooked some food and just tried to get prepared for like this week which was fine i guess today i have an appointment and also yesterday i did an appointment uh, and it was like for tattoos or whatever and so that was like it but today uh, i have an appointment two tattoos and then i have a doctor's appointment and then a consult later i actually like made like a weekly schedule yesterday to follow for this month because this month for me is really about discipline it's about routine it's about adulting for real and like creating things for the long term that's like the theme this month for me so i'm really trying to like lock in on that lock in on my health lock in on finances just the things that keep us afloat like the foundation i'm still dealing with like this allergic reaction i took another benadryl last night i woke up early at like seven this morning i plan to start waking up at eight normally i wake up at 10 but i plan to start waking up at eight just to give myself some time to work on some <coughs> that's the allergic reaction I swear I'm not sick. It made my throat like swell and get scratchy. So I've been on medicine for that. But anyways, so I can give myself more time to work on like projects. So currently I'm creating like a digital product. That's just the easiest way to describe it. But it's obviously tattoo based because that's where my expertise is. And so like that would be my goal. Like my goal from like May 1st to May 31st is to create and finish my digital product. I also ordered a wig because this hair is just not giving for me right now. But yeah, I really am focused on like just locking in. Also content creation again, like just really getting my socials jumping again pop in just trying to create the life that i keep asking for right you can't get the things that you want without working for them i think that's so real i don't think you have to do overly work but i think you do have to work there's no way they're making that much noise uh, um i am about to go work on this digital product i'm about to make a smoothie eventually and then get my day started it's a beautiful wednesday it is the first of may and we're calling in good vibes we're calling in abundance we're calling in new opportunities this month sweetness graciousness clarity okay who we're calling in i don't know about y'all but i always blow cinnamon in my door the beginning of every month i make sure like i'm cleaning my house taking care of like myself and my body i'm just getting my mind right for the new month but i will update you probably post tattoo probably so the hair is a disaster i'm working on her okay i just got back from the doctor and i'm gonna get on my little weight loss medicine i'm so excited um i'm about to start uh semaglutide which is like generic ozempic da, 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 da. i don't want to hear you nobody mouth because y'all not living with this weight okay honey i work out i eat right it don't be doing what it be doing so yeah i'm getting started on that either late this week or next week and i'm mad excited and then i got this curly wig because i really want to look natural like i want to i want to look like a natural girl so i'm gonna pluck her and make her look all nice and cute because she's supposed to be glueless and then we'll move from there but yeah I'm grateful. I'm happy. Hey guys, so I obviously have a new wig. She's supposed to be glueless. I have to go get some like got to be or something. But like I bleached her and added like, I guess you could call them low lights. Cause she was like black. She was very black. I'll show you better and like better light. But this is what's going on right now. And I just got done deep cleaning the heck out of my house. There's a couple things I need to get real quick. Like maybe like a candle some got to be and there was something else i need but i forgot and then i'll come back blow my little cinnamon in the door and call in the good and new vibes for the month i still have a stencil to draw tonight because i have an appointment tomorrow but i'm feeling good i feel better my house is definitely clean so that's good i feel healthy i feel good i feel like abundance now i feel fresh so i'm gonna come back cleanse the house spiritually and then probably start working on tomorrow's tattoo but I will keep you updated. Hello. All right. So I just got done making content for like TikTok slash Instagram. I'm about to lay it down because it's 12. I have an appointment tomorrow. I think I'm going to draw while I'm in a bed. And uh, I started watching Sex in the City. So we'll see what that's about. I've never seen it. I haven't seen a lot of things. So if there's something that you think I should see, put it down in the comments because quite frankly, I need to catch up. But it's been a lovely Wednesday. I will talk to you later good morning good morning it is thursday it's 9 30 
I just woke up, took a shower, did some hygiene, put the hair in, you know. Today I have an appointment, of course. I finished this until last night and I'm supposed to be working on my project right now, but I'm like trying to do the all, like get caught up on social media and everything because I have been slacking. Because my TikTok stopped working. Like I like to do the slideshows and my TikTok would not let me do the slideshows. And sometimes, girl, you just need a slideshow. Like, you don't be having the energy to talk. And that's where I've been at. So, doing that right now. And then, probably going to eat. And then, obviously, get to some tattooing. But it's, I feel so good. I cleaned my house real well. It's real peaceful in here. <laughs> Invited in some, like, very positive energy for this month. And, like, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I don't know. Do you, I'd be, like, paranoid. I'd be thinking, like, what if this is just all a movie? I don't know. Mm, I'm, I swear I'm not crazy. I promise. I just be uh, doing too much thinking. But I'll talk to y'all later and keep you updated. Also, I make outside. Who knows? We'll see. But yeah, uh, I'll keep you updated. Okay, so I definitely just got home. It's like 11 12. I was just recording, but it was in slow motion, so we're gonna try again. But I got tacos, and these people were really trying to induct me into like a drug ring. Like, the networking mixture was really, like, them trying to pyramid scheme some shit. If I'm just keeping it a buck. So, I'm not going to tell y'all who it is for the sake of being respectful. But it just seemed like a whole bunch of pyramid scheme ass shit. Like, they was trying to get you to buy, like, an online dispensary. And then you make money like that, whatever, whatever. And I'm just, it don't sound right. It's not sitting right in my spirit. So, I'm going to leave it alone. Also, my wig is eating down, honey. Okay, she looks very natural, and I'm so here for it. Also, my daddy said it was a good wig, and he don't never like no wig I got on. So you know that it's good. It's a good wig. Now, I've also decided that I don't want to go to Philly no more. I don't want to go to the roots picnic. Why? It's too much drama and shit just behind it. And also, I was only going for Yubba. And what if Yubba don't even go? That's gonna piss me off. And if she do go, fine. But I would rather go catch Yeb in a bar in New York somewhere or Chicago somewhere and like just listen to her sing in a bar intimately how she normally do. Because that's she's literally the only reason I'm going. I don't care about nobody else. Like I don't want to see nobody else perform live like that. So now I have to figure out how to sell these tickets. I had goals. I didn't really reach them today. Today I just tattooed for real. I was thrown off. But it's okay. We're not going to make any more excuses. We're going to lock in for real. That's tiredness, okay? Um, it's my night and time. But just making a lot of, like, executive decisions right now. Because no way. I'm not in a mood. Uh, I don't feel like being swindled into a drug ring. I also don't feel like going to Philly to go see all these people screaming the microphone. Therefore, I'm just going to sit down on my business. And that's, that's my business. And I'm good to book a trip and then cancel it. I'm good for it. I swear to God, I'm good for it. I'm trying to do better. But I, I really think I want to go to Houston. Why am I yapping? My God. I really think I want to go to Houston because there's going to be a tattoo convention the same weekend and I, and I want to go with my friends and stuff because all my faves are going to be down here. So I'm like, I'll go to Houston for real. But we'll see. We'll see what I do. Good morning. I woke up so late. It's like 10. 30. Take a little 30 away too. I have been talking to myself internally because I'm i not in the mood to talk right now to be honest, but... I've been talking to myself and I'm like, I don't need to go out no more. I went to the social networking thing, unless it's like to benefit what I'm trying to do. I don't need to go out right now. Like my goal this month is to get my finances in order, get my house in order, get all these things in order so I can start doing more. You feel me? I believe I'm going to create a Roth IRA very soon and just start investing. Because I feel like we see all these financial gurus and they be telling us what they be doing, but they don't be telling us. I'm gonna be the experiment. I'm gonna be the person doing all these different things and see what actually works. Y'all gonna see me go from like rags to riches, right? Because I refuse to always stay in the same place. And whether that be financially, whether that be locationally, whatever it is, I refuse, I always must grow. So I'm about to like really lock in on that and see what's, what is what. Yeah, I I have these super serious plans to be better and to grow and do these enormous things that I want to do. And I refuse to leave the world without doing them. And therefore, I must lock in. You know what I'm saying? I think that's like the biggest thing. We just have to focus in on what it is that we want and how we want it. And so I have an appointment today and I'm going to get back to working on my project. What is it? What do the girls call it? The digital product? Do some social media a little bit. 
And then, and that's it. That's all I'm trying to do. Just focus on that, to be honest. But yeah, I also have noticed, like, dating-wise, to be honest, I really am the catch. Like, I have so much value. Truly, truly, truly hold so much value. Like, genuinely. Like, I know everybody's like, I'm that girl. No, like, I can really be with anybody, talk to anybody. I'm attractive. Like, I'm successful. Successful is loose, but I believe I'm successful. And other people view me as such. Um, so why... Why settle? I was just like, to keep it real, and this is going to get real, this is rated R, y'all. So if you're not trying to hear my rowdy mouth, fast forward. But like, honestly, I woke up this morning and I was like, the only man who's going to get some from me is going to be the man who got everything that I want. And I have not met him yet, okay? I'm talking. He's fine. He got the 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 freaking pit house downtown. He got that million dollar, half million dollar job. He he got a whole bunch of side side hustles and passive incomes and they're all legal and they're all like legitimate businesses and stuff. He don't got no kids. He don't got no responsibilities other than take care of himself and enjoy his life. And he be traveling. And he be taking yeah. And he be taking he be letting me indulge in all those things that he got going on. That's the next man that's gonna get okay. Right. Cause what are you doing for me? I think we need to step step back as women and ask that question more. What are you doing for me? Because it don't seem like a thing. It don't seem like you have nothing to offer except for a goddamn headache. And not to say that Mr. Man with, ed with it all don't got no headache, but at least it can pay to get on your nerves, girl. You got to think big. You got to think big. I like money. I don't know. I know some of the girls be like, money's not important to me. That's your business. It is important to me. And it's not that I need a man to give me that. It's that I want a man to give me that. And I want my own stuff, too. It's like, his money, my money, my money, my money. So, really, I got double money, and it's still my money. You hear me? But I was just thinking about that. I woke up. I was like, well, you know, a little, you know, intimacy wouldn't be real. Because I'm 22, like, come on now. But also, I'm not just going to, you don't have nothing to give. You don't have nobody to, you know what I'm saying? I was just thinking about that. But, and let me say, okay, it's hard to find that, especially in Dallas as in the font that I like, in the, you know what I'm saying? Color. And then if you do, they don't like us. They like them. And if you don't understand what I'm saying, it's probably not for you. So, I don't know. But I was thinking about that. I'm like, some guys to, some guys to get for sure. But yeah, y'all, yeah. we gonna worry about that next month. This month is about our money. It's literally tour season. Like, please. Like, we must worry about our cash flow. We must worry about our long-term investments. We must worry about foundation. Like, that's what this whole month is worth. So, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm about to go do a welfare check on my brother. Because ain't nobody seen her from him or whatever, whatever. I got cute, of course, because I'm always going somewhere else. So, I'll probably go somewhere else. But I'm going to go to South Dallas. And I'll take y'all with me for real. See who over there. <coughs> This is Elfitty. I don't even know if you get a view. I love the skirt. This was a great purchase. Y'all, so I went to the shop and these two guys, I'm not going to tell you about the shop because I like the shop and I like the people there. But these two guys were like, they were having a, um, a showdown. They was talking about, I bet you won't raise your gun. I, would, I bet you won't. I bet you won't shoot me. I bet you won't. And they, and I'm, when I, right when I'm trying to leave, they, at each other and i couldn't my car was right past them there's no way i could have like left and there was nowhere else to exit the building or go and that was by far so scary like i was literally shaking i'm calm down now because i had to talk to my mama and i'm on my way back to the house but they was like at it boy i tell you it's a no for me uh this is why i don't go to south dallas like every time i go over there mm -mm. so whew, it was scary it was like this um white man with all these tattoos and this black man who obviously is just there and he they going at it yo and i don't know why but they was really like two more seconds they would have shot a, shot them guns i promise you i don't know who calmed it down or who you know but yeah so i'm gonna be quiet in, in my mind Okay, guys, so it's definitely like 12 something. I met a random man when I was like going to get beignets, and then we winded up walking around the city for like two 
two, three hours and just talking about everything under the sun. And I know you're like, oh my God, all right, be careful. It's fine. I'm fine. It was a very good conversation. We were talking about like spirituality and just all these like very deep. It was a very intuitive conversation and I live for those things. So it was very, very cool. I just got done watching like a Basquiat video and like some other artist videos. And I think I just found like a new niche thing for me to get into like artsy videos on YouTube. So yeah. 10 out of 10. I also bought me like a no nick vape because I've been, I've been chewing gum religiously and that's just not doing it. So I'm gonna see how this works. <sighs> but guys, I'm so tired. I think I'm bad. And also, I want to start shooting my vlogs differently. I've been inspired and I want to do more like POV content and not so much like me content. So I shall change. Unfortunately, I suffer from like. When I get a new idea, I want to completely scrap everything old that ever existed and just live in that new thing. But I'm going to really, really try with this like vlog thing to just show y'all the growth and the journey of like professionalism and like creativity and execution. But anyways, I have more inspiration to gain and more things to plan. I also booked me a boxing class on ClassPass because why the heck not? That sounds amazing. So I'm going to just start doing a whole bunch of like random shit. We'll see where I'm at at the end of it. Uh, this month is gonna be a whole month, of, a whole month of random shit. Period. Okay, so good morning. I'm about to get started on some work, some follow up on some like appointment inquiries, and work on this project. I literally was researching like productivity models and like just ways that I can like focus in because like I have ADHD, y'all, real bad. So bad. It's it, like I can't do shit. So I was trying to find a way to create like a um, schedule-ish for me to like just lock in and do some things. I think I found one. I think I'm gonna do like an hour, an hour 30 and then break and then do something else for like an hour and then go back to the original thing. Or hour, hour 30, break, hour, hour 30, do something else. And then do it again later on today. But yeah, this is what is on my mind. Uh, this is everything that's happening right now. A little computer, my phone, and then an iPad. I made this schedule, I think, earlier in the week, and honestly, I followed it like once. But also, my week has been insane. No excuses. I don't like excuses. You don't win when you make excuses, so we're just going to accept the defeat and not do it again, right? Not repeat. I'm in a new headspace. Billy's getting there, um, and I'm really trying to focus in on like doing what it is that I need to do. So I will keep you updated on how this goes and let you know, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so I actually gave up on trying to sit here and do it in the house. I'm just not feeling it. And then I had to call about something and the lady irritated the hell out of me. And so I'm gonna go to like the bookstore or somewhere. I'm gonna get boba and then I'm gonna go to the bookstore and we'll figure it out from there for sure. So I just got done at this boxing class it's currently 11.06 and when I tell you this was so fun, I will definitely be back. But also, baby, the it ain't no joke, okay? Boxing is no joke. Um, I was like the second to only girl in there. And it was pretty intimate, so I like that too. But like, baby, I can't fight y'all. I can't. Not like bars. I can't box, honey. Now, if ain't no rules, I can really get down. I can throw this down. But it was it was a vibe. It was vibe, and now I'm like, how can I how can I come back? When when am I gonna come back? But it was definitely cute. I liked it, and now I have like a pool of fucking sweat everywhere, all over me, y'all, in the pities. But yeah, and it, there was a man in here. He was fine. I'm not gonna lie. He was real fine. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna tell y'all where I'm going because I don't want y'all to see his bed. But you know, yeah, he was cute. Okay, everybody, so it is Sunday. I'm about to go to this event called Colors. I'm actually like watching my last vlog, the edited version now, and like making notes and things. But these are the roses I got for myself. They are so freaking cute, okay? And then the body is tea. I'm wearing this new dress that I got from Shein that I never like put on. This is the fit. I don't even know if you can tell, girl. I went to boxing this morning. I feel like a badass. Beep! I do. I feel like a bad girl for going to boxing and all that after me. But yeah, we're finna go outside. Maria's on her way, my girl, my 
Libra queen, okay? Ready to take it over, ready to take over the day. Super excited. And I'm gonna see how this party goes because I've been wanting to go to this party for a long time and I've just never been. So I'll let you know how I go. And they make a noise outside. Look at these people on these scooter. I'm so nice. Oh, not they fell off. Okay, well, I'll keep you updated. Um, that's tea right now.